Hi everyone, it's Ali Mew, and I'm going to teach you to, you know, Photoshop impose your face into a character. And this could be for your thumbnail. And I'm going to tell you guys, what's really interesting about YouTube is they've been really good at, like, if you have something that's rectangular and, you know, somewhat wide space, like a wide scape, wow, wide space, uh, it'll work for your thumbnail if you guys have the option to upload your thumbnail. Because uh, from what what my experience is, it's never gotten cut off, nothing has ever happened. If I had this general shape or slightly even more wider, it'll work. It will upload and it would become the perfect thumbnail that I've always dreamed about. <laughs> but anyway, yes, this is me and I am as Maya. All right, okay, whatever this does. Anyway, so um, let's start with finding a background. Whatever you want to be, you know, I'm pretty sure you all want to be uh, Maya, the siren, and I am going to tell you guys, this is pretty easy if you guys can follow along. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I am not a professional professor. I have never really taught people Photoshop unless they actually are in my class. So they actually know what I'm talking about, you know, and the quick shortcut. So if I do something really quick, I can't really explain it that well. I will tell you that. But um, I got this as a, an idea to do from Richard L. And I'd like to thank you because this is actually a really good idea for people to, I guess, try to teach people if they can follow what I'm doing. So um, I would duplicate this layer because you can't play around with the background. I would make two layers or duplicate it two times. Okay, that's not listening to me. All right. <laughs> duplicate la again. And let's delete this lock layer. There's no way of unlocking this. Cancel. Press this. And then you will have two copies. If you uh, click on this, it makes it invisible. But when you're when you're like still highlight here, it means that you're still um, on that layer. And it says you can't do anything because you're selected on this and it's hidden. So that's a good thing about that feature. So we're working on the back one anyway. Um, what we want to do is get rid of Maya's um, features. So I'm going to do this little facial surgery on her. So we would take the clone stamp tool. And what it does is basically it actually clones the texture so it doesn't look that fake. So I'm going to do this slowly. You want to do this very slowly because if any sudden quick thing that you do, um, you might not, you know, get rid of it uh, very fast. And you can see in the little corner here uh, how I set my um, my parameters, I guess, like the percentage of strength, the opacity. Um, if you have it too strong, um, it's going to be a lot more harder to like, it's just too, I don't know, it's too abrasive because right now I'm lightly like airbrushing it on and it, um, it doesn't like, I guess, I don't know how to explain it, but it just doesn't um, cover it completely and like have that weirdness to it, I guess. Wow, this is so hard to try to explain a bit, but um, trust me. I'm not look liking the way it's looking here, so I can quickly like dabble here. Um, I want to get rid of her eyes, her beautiful, lovely eyes. Um, and. You know, I'm gonna get rid of it because I my eyes are gonna be replaced onto it. I wonder if what is my is my like Asian? I have no idea. I'll leave her eyebrows for now. Um yeah, what is she supposed to be? Well it doesn't matter, she's really hot. <laughs> that's for sure. Is anybody playing as Maya besides me? Uh well I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one is that's playing Maya, but <laughs> I'm just wondering if uh, any of you guys uh, wanted to be here. And just because she's a girl and you're a guy doesn't mean you can't play a girl character. That's retarded. So I want to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to get the um, brush tool and whatever I have on right now is too harsh. I want it to be airbrushed. Um, and I want that dark peachy color over here. And I'm going to make this bigger. So all I have to do is put a little bit and it'll appear. See, look. Um, like, I want this to be kind of like this color. Okay this color so it kind of smooths it out in a sense so yeah we're we're pretty much good on the you know the back copy let's work on the front one and let's reveal this oh 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 oh, oh. magic all right now we have to cut her face off 
I know this is plastic surgery, you guys, 101, and you're gonna get certified by LMU. Okay, let's go. So this pen tool, what it does is you can actually make an outline and you can make these marching ants that can uh, cut out this, her lovely face. And very, like, it's very, like, precise. Like, it's vector. Um, just make sure you go slowly. You can't just, like, press one and, like, expect to press another one here and get, like, a great shape. Because her, her face is not, you know, the way it, it's cropped by her hair, it's not perfect. So you're going to need to do this little by little. And voila. Now you're going to have this path that's around her face. And you're going to select, uh, make a selection while. And press OK. There's marching ants right now. Then you're going to press the delete button on your keyboard or backspace. And then it's going to reveal the bottom layer. So basically it's like one of those um, things at the fair where it's like a cutout of the face and you can stick your face through. So that's what hap that's what's happening in the top layer. We're going to get rid of this work path because we don't need it anymore. And you can actually um, just put the bottom layer invisible so you can see how it looks. And voila, this is where you're going to put your face. I'm going to put my face in. I don't have a picture of you guys, so sorry about that. So I've used this tool. I'm going to do it again. Ah! I just brought down the guide from the ruler. That's what I just did. I'm going to select my face and copy. I'm doing what is it? Control, control C for um, PCs. Anyway, I'm going to paste it. And my uh, my picture is going to be very large because it's high res and my eyes look really, really weird. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go to free transform and I'm gonna hold shift down and that will keep uh, the scale correctly, the ratio, the aspect ratio. And keep doing it, keep doing it. And I look really fucked up. I'm going to press apply and yes they will clear it up now this is on the top layer I'm hiding it it's now resubmerged from invisibility put this in between like a sandwich voila and here goes Maya and my big eye <laughs> I'm going to do free transform and what you guys are going to do is play around however you want to play around with it and if you think that it looks good then that's when you keep it Right now, I don't think that looks good. How did I do mine? I think it's slightly smaller, I guess. God damn it, why did it go back here? I guess I didn't, I, I didn't, um, I didn't click apply. All right. I think this is pretty close to what I had before. Let's drag it out and see how close I am to it. Um, I think I made my face slightly smaller, so bear with me, you guys. Free transform. Make it a little, a little smaller. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did. Okay. Apply. All right. Um, now we're going to fill in the bangs, which I did uh, previously. We're on this layer, which is on my face. You do not want to be part of this. Um, another thing is, I think I should shift over my face a little bit because, like, I notice here it's not like that. And yeah, I think that's it's pretty close. It's really close to how I, I did it. I look fat here, you guys. What the fuck? Oh god, I look fat. All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, anyway, continuing and moving on, okay? All right. Let's go to the first copy, and I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna select this and paste it. Where'd you go? Come on, Nigel. Where'd you go? All right, there it is. I copied it. And that's the, the one that I selected. Uh, what we're going to do is do the same select thing that I did before. And 
I'm gonna quickly do it. Do it, true it, do it. My voice is dying, by the way, as you can see. And you can tell what time it is. It's crazy time. Um, it's 2.26. Um, I'm pretty excited because I just got out of class. Um, well, I didn't just get out of class. And why is this freaking zooming in every single time? I'm going to zoom back out. And you can see, you can hear like my keyboard uh, sliding thingy under my desk because I'm sliding out because I can't see what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, I can't just make this so simple. It can't be just blah, blah, because you can see I'm missing some stuff. So what you do is you put a little bit more of a dot around here. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to close that up. And all right, I'm going to need to redo this one and make it smaller. Make it more precise. And I'm going to just do this. Close it. And let's, you can't, you know, cut out of that. You really need to make this into that marching ant make selection thing. Press OK. X. And now we can get rid of this layer in the working path. It's going to disrupt you. Getting rid of that layer, which this cutout thing is part of. And now I can paste a bang on. That's why I have it here. I want to put my bang on. So I love the tool free transform because it actually scales things really well. And the coolest part is I think I pressed, I'm pressing, I have a Mac keyboard. I mean, well, I have a Mac, but I have a PC keyboard, which is hilarious. And I'm able to shift stuff by pressing alt. I don't know if the it's the same on uh, on a PC computer because right now I'm using a PC keyboard, like I said again, uh, with the Mac computer. And I'm just, I just kind of like, I get wonky because um, <laughs> when I'm on my laptop, the laptop does have like the right settings for the keyboard and it's like slightly looking different. So I'm always messing up my keys. Anyway, I'm going to do it the best I can, just like how my hair falls down here. I'm going to hide that little pink thing. I don't want to shift it slightly over. And you want to make it as natural as possible to what you have. Like right now, I want my bang to be more flat. Let's stylize it some more. Um. Right now, I want it to be like this. And maybe I stretch it more. Alright, I like it like that. That's cute. And I'm not going to be able to do exactly what I did before because um, I'm not a robot. I can't make the same thing happen twice. So I'm going to get it as close as I can. I'm selecting this and I'm making a duplicate. And there's my duplicate but you don't want to use the same one as the same bang and you want to just um, adjust it, make it smaller, make it fatter um, just basically stylize it I'm going to also shift it over um, don't worry, I know it doesn't, it doesn't come easy Um, it took me a while to understand, like, Photoshop fully, like, it's, it's one thing when you're using Photoshop without taking a course in school, it's like another thing when you actually take a course in school, um, like, you, you do learn, like, the tips and tricks that you wouldn't learn if you didn't, uh, work in the real world yet. So that's really good to know for my teachers. Um, and I wouldn't have learned it on my own. I, I'd, I would have to have read a book or something. All right, I think that's pretty cute. Like, it, it's like 
it's pretty good I, I think I want to make this one go back to layer two which is this one I'm gonna make it slightly fatter okay free transform and I'm gonna make it slightly fatter hopefully it's working and I don't know why I have a British accent right now all right and you know it's it's up to you what you want um really it's it's really up to you uh i think i'm gonna shift this over slightly because that was bothering me i kind of want to tilt this one over i don't know why now that i can hide that uh that pink hair that was showing um go back to free transform and i'm gonna make it more uh, there you go to the way i like it yeah okay then I'm gonna redo my other one. I know I'm such a perfectionist. I don't, I don't know why. I, I like making sure everything kind of looks like the way I like it. I think that's a good thing too. All right. Um, now we want to make this look a slightly a little bit more natural. Um, I'm going to be using this smudge tool, and um, this is the strength that I have. I'm on normal mode. Uh, basically, I'm going to draw this slightly in here inwards, as you can see. So it kind of looks like that it's from here, it's coming from. Oh, this is on the second layer. Hold on, I'm going to make the strength a little slightly lower. And there. So it's kind of like dragging into there. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the second layer. You just want to put a little bit so it, it, it just looks like um, it, it's you know natural from there um, here's a quick way you can uh, cover this side um, we're gonna use that stamp tool that I showed you uh, and I'm gonna make it I want to make it bigger but I guess and let me guess this is not on the right layer that I want the borderlands to copy this is the one you want so I'm sl ever so slightly spraying this on <laughs> and it's working quite well. Oh my God, why did I zoom in? Okay, so I'm gonna spray it on, spray it on, I'm spray it on. I'm gonna copy over here, oh shit, and Another thing what you can do is I want to maybe just I don't want to like bother with it too much what if I want to just make this blue I would take blue and spray it on all right I'm gonna make this smaller because that's not how much you need I'm gonna take a sample of that color and I'm gonna make sure this is lightly coming out and I'm gonna probably use multiply if this works yeah and that will work or if you want to not worry about this I can make my face bigger slightly so you don't have to worry about it all right So now we have that done. We're not done yet because um, right now our uh, face doesn't look quite the same as Maya, of course. Uh, what I would normally do is go into filter and make sure your face, uh, your face, your your picture is the face about the picture of your face, which is for me a layer one, is selected and go to filter and let's go through the gallery. There is a filter that makes you look like um, a character from Borderlands and it's in artistic and it's called poster edges like there's other stuff you can do oh man look at that ew <laughs> that is totally me uh, ew ew I look like I don't know like from the ring um, that's abstract me abstract me it looks like I'm possessed and that's totally me. Anyway, poster edges is very close to um, Borderlands. And I'm going to press OK. But we're not done yet. 
I want to have, um, which was, let me show you guys, I want that, you know, texture that's from Maya. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our, uh, make sure layer one where your picture is again and go to multiply. That's what I did. And you can see there's something wrong. Um, the nose is not at the right place. And here's something awesome that you can do. So we're going to select that copy, the, the one that is the bottom layer, the one where this nose belongs to. And there's a way that we can make it come down. And it is the smudge tool. And what you're going to do is make sure the strength is very high. Like you're going to want it to be really high. Don't make the, this little, um, <laughs> this little circle um, that small. You're gonna need it to be as big as the nose because we're doing a nose job right now. All right, no, this is big. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, watch magic happen. I'm gonna drop it down to where my nose is. And that's there. And that's what I did. Um, now, if you want to mess with some of the settings and like I, I, I made this slightly more natural looking. So what I did is, um, yes, this is still on the bottom copy because this is the texture that's uh, what's coming from it. But um, I'd go back to the brush, make it big. You can need it. It's like airbrushing your face. I think of it as makeup. Um, make sure <laughs> what you have is um, I think normal on because the background doesn't need that. Um, I'm going to take a sample of the coloring around here. I want this kind of coloring and you can like touch it up like that make it lighter. Uh, if you want to make your face lighter, you can touch it up like that. Um, as you can see, like I, I did other different things. I, I went a little bit more into it. Um, for your picture, you can actually multiply it. You can color burn it, see what happens. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys will have a lot of questions, but um, the thing about questions is sometimes you should just try it out before you even ask because it could be answered just by even just trying things out because I would try to figure things before I even ask my teacher because you can learn other things just by trying, you know, these things. It's not going to do anything to you. You can actually you know, go backwards and figure out, oh, what did I do wrong? What did I do? Uh, you can maybe come across a filter that you like. So far, I don't like any of these luminosity all right i like multiply the most that is the most uh, realistic one so you can see i i chose a different way to do my bangs i guess i did my bangs a little bit more quirkier um i like my bangs on this i like my bangs here too and now for the last finishing touch you're gonna want to um change this uh a studying type in graphic design i've started or even just if you guys are exposed to typography a lot you're going to notice you know certain uh fonts and you would know what it is so what's being exposed here is not the bottom layer it's the layer the copy that's second on top the only thing you see on the bottom from the bottom layer is here the texture of the face that we cut out all right let's erase maya um i'm going to you know select a solid brush and make it smaller so I don't like erase anything really important and don't just pick black you should swatch out whatever this black is because black there's many different shades of black trust me and I don't like having opacity flowing that little you want it to be as close as possible and another thing is you don't want the airbrush uh, brush um, it's going to um, affect stuff around here so it sprays out like how um, like a can of uh, spray paint would so you don't want that happening so I'm just clearing this out all right this font um, it reminds me of impact so I'm just gonna use impact it may or may not be the same exact thing but um, I think it's impact it looks like it it's not that big it's probably like 30 I'm going to put Allie, Mew, you're going to obviously change the color into white. All right, now I'm going to drag it as close over here. Um, what do we do? We do free transform. And you can do it however you want it to be. And voila, 
you have your custom character and you can do whatever you want um i'm starting to like this other one i don't know why it looks really cute but then this looks more normal this looks really quirky so i realized in the video that i didn't erase her eyebrows so i think i pretty much taught you guys how to erase the eyebrows so you can either erase the eyebrow or have your own eyebrow or erase your eyebrow and have her eyebrow I prefer to have my own eyebrow for here because, you know, it makes it look more like me. Um, but yeah, I really want to know which bangs you guys prefer more, number one or number two. Please let me know and comment below if you liked this video or what you felt about it. And I love you all. And I hope you guys check out my Borderlands playthrough too. Um, the playthrough on the AOS channel and the playthrough on my channel. Okay? I love you guys. I'm probably going to play a zero on my channel. I am playing as Maya on uh, the AOS channel, though. Love you guys.